Okay, so having that knowledge, we now know how to uh, how to estimate uh, estimate uh, returns in a somewhat biased way, but really low variance, which can help our learning process. Um, so again, Monte Carlo return will look something like this: you you play a bunch of matches, you have to play to the end. Um, and then so, you know, later when you are doing your quote unquote training process, when you're sleeping at home, you're going to say, well, those things that the matches that I won, I need to do more of that. The ones that I lost, uh, then I need to do less of that, right? Whatever it is that happened inside of those matches, I need to change that thing or I need to do more of it. Um, again, very high variance because it could be that inside of one of these given matches, you had good things that you did and you could be learning of those good things but you're you're just um going to to quote unquote reality right <laughs> and then so if this is maybe philosophy lesson as well obviously it, it, it i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna attempt to do that but the point is for you to reflect on that right sometimes um there are good things that you did that you did when you lost right but um at the end of the day winning is really what you are after now winning the, the the final signal is really really high variance it is unbiased but a high variance and then so for learning it is often the case that we use a bias signal like so so we let we move on then now to estimated returns again um you know, you, you can see the match, you can be learning inside during the match and using that for, for getting better and better policies. Um, in the, I'm gonna say like actor critic architecture, this is what you have. You have uh, an actor and then you have a critic. The critic here I'm, I'm representing by uh, the guys playing and then, you know, knowing the score, having that awareness of the score and being able to predict whether it's gonna do well or not so well, right? And then, um, so the actor we would replace with a neural network uh, that uh, the input of the neural network is gonna be the state or you know the observation. And then the uh, output is gonna be uh, an action. And uh, the value function, the critic is gonna be replaced by a value function. So in this case, it's not Q, the value function is actually V. We are basically, uh, estimating the uh, expected return based on the state, no action, based on conditions, okay? So let me give you a, an overview as to what an actor critic algorithm typically looks like. You have the world down here, and then you have your agent at the top, right? This is the, the agent, this is the, this is the environment. The environment then outputs a, an observation. You can pass that observation to your policy. The policy network is gonna output an action. You pass that into your environment. The environment then is gonna respond, quote unquote respond, is really going to evolve in a certain way and then you're gonna have a new observation available or a new state that is says prime and then you're gonna have a reward. Okay, this cycle that you see here completes a, a what is called an experience double. An experience tuple is just the collection of those things, the state, the action, and then the next state and the reward that come that comes after, that come after, okay? With this experience tuple, experience tuple you can use it for calculating, for estimating a bootstrapped, um, um, a bootstrap um, um, return. Right, so you have the, the reward plus the discounted value of the next state. This can be used then to train that value function. And then now you have a critic that is better at estimating uh, those uh, the, the, the reward to go. That then can be used to calculate what is called an advantage, uh, the advantage function which there are many ways to do it, but this is a common way, um, that can then be used to train the policy. Now I'm leaving the details outside a little bit, mostly because there are many ways that you can go about this. There are three papers that I recommend uh, that you read. Uh, one is gonna be uh, A3C, the other one is gonna be PPO, and the other one is gonna be 
generalized advantage estimation. So these three papers should actually help you decide how you actually implement um, these actor-critic methods.